I do not have an intro, but I have a brand new video for you. In this video, we are building an enclosure for the Alpine Ibex. Uh, we are located on the other side of the little mountain hill thing that we were building for the links for. And right now in the beginning, you can see that there is kind of something else to the corner. Uh, and that is because I built something in between those two, which will be the next video. I just felt like uh, with the cinematics later on, it would make more sense to put this video first and then the other but you can see us kind of you, you also you get a little bit of a sneak peek there but you can see us build around this pier so the idea is that because we are on the back side of the mountain we are now facing the river and um, I kind of underestimated how much the ibexes would swim I did not expect them to do that I thought they would stay on the cliffs but they do swim a lot but um, yeah you can see our uh, aquatic ibexes I guess <laughs> Uh, swim around which was not the plan but whatever um, the idea was actually that they would climb around on the cliffs and you could kind of see them from this little pier um, this little pier that you can see some in the front you know sometimes it'll like come in and out uh, I try not to give you too much of a spoiler for the next video but uh, it will be the next video so we are skipping the uh, the other two series so that these two get to you back to back so that you don't really forget where we are and you kind of see the prequel I guess to this um, which by the way is a restaurant so uh, a new thing that we haven't done yet but I really wanted to also put an animal out there because uh, I feel like looking at the videos that I've put out so far which is just a few there's been a lot of non-animal videos, so I, I kind of wanted to get going with an animal and also it makes more sense for me to put cinematics with the animal and then a walkthrough with the restaurant um, that, you know, I can also walk through the animal for a short amount of time because there's not a lot of uh, different angles that guests can view these ibexes from. It's literally just from that pier. So the idea is that obviously you walk out onto the water um, and you can like look up into the cliffs, which I thought was really cool. Um, that was my idea from the very start. I also always knew that I wanted it to be on the backside uh, of the links. Um, I ran into some difficulty with uh, how to connect it because I wanted the ibexes to share the house with the links so I always knew we wanted a tunnel I just didn't expect the tunnel to be so big so I guess the tunnel is pretty unrealistic they wouldn't really do that um, in my head it was more like a few meters of tunnel which I thought was reasonable but the ibex is really be walking through the mountain to get to their house but it is what it is now and I think it looks really cool um, the other um, kind of issue that I run into here, which I guess isn't really an issue. It's more of a question. Um, I think I went overboard. <laughs> I think I just I had so much fun with the cliffs. Like, you know, I love my rock work and um, for some reason, this was just, this was my, my, my jam. I was, I was so into it. Um, I cut out a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of rock work here. Um, to make it bearable but it was it's really like 50% rock work uh, and I love it but I think also with the foliage and like everything it kind of went overboard I think it looks sort of unrealistically heavy cluttered I guess uh, which I think you'll understand what I'm getting through when you see it in the end um, and yeah so just in the end, let me know if you think I went overboard because I feel like I sort of did. I don't know if I'll go back necessarily uh, or delete something, but I just, I want to know if maybe that's just because I looked at it for so long that I was like, Ugh. somehow this feels too lush. It's almost like a little bit of like a cave, um, but yeah, whatever. I just, I think it looks cool. It just doesn't look realistic necessarily. Um, but, I mean, the Ibex walks through the mountain, so how realistic can it be, realistically? <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so that's what we were doing, uh, and like I said, this connects to a sort of restaurant, and the restaurant sort of has a gate, um, so this is, uh, going to be called the Ibex Cliffs or something, and the restaurant is called the Cliffside Restaurant because uh, it, it's the idea is that this kind of joins in together, so you have the restaurant that is attached to the pier, um, and you don't have to go through the restaurant, but it is 
there so it is kind of one thing that's why i'm putting the videos together so you're not getting the tropical park and you're not getting the base game park uh and i do think that after that though you will get the basement park because i have something pre-recorded for that and i'm starting a new job uh tomorrow actually and i like after this i go to bed and then i start a new job tomorrow morning so um yeah i'm obviously kind of uh not stressed about it i'm really excited about it but uh that really um obviously this kind of gives you a new perspective on how can i spend my time so i hope that i'll be able to keep up with the schedule uh like right now i try to or not i try pat on my own back i consistently post it my, um, wednesdays and saturdays <laughs> so um that is what I'm trying to do and I hope that I can continue to do it. It's not a full-time job, it's a part-time job next to uni, so my full-time job technically is uni. Um, but obviously, yeah, that brings, you know, new stress and less time into my life, so that'll be fun, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, but like I said, I'm excited for it, so that's good. Um, but that also means that I'm not sure <laughs> I'll be able to record a new um tropical thing in time because also i'm not quite sure where we're going to go in the tropical series uh like what i want to do next because everything is so conjoined because it's islands and so i'm like oh it seems like a big task right now and i really want to plan it so um for now i think i'm just going to co continue with the cult climate and the base game zoo and you know maybe some one-off stuff or something else um someone asked me if i was planning to uh add more games uh i don't think so um i'm also not sure if these will be my last series uh but i don't know i think i just want to do what's fun for now i just want to um enjoy myself enjoy recording and hope that this enjoyment um kind of catches up to you and that you feel inspired by what i felt inspired to do so um, that's where I'm going right now and really with the new time crunch I'll have to see uh, maybe it's it doesn't really change anything maybe I'll have to uh, do less which would suck because I'm really enjoying it so far um, this is also the last video like yeah no this is the last video that I recorded ahead of time before actually starting this channel so what you're seeing actually I build uh, over a month ago <laughs> so um, I think I said it in I think the first video was that I recorded quite a bit before deciding on whether or not I wanted to start the channel because I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it. I wasn't sure if recording was something that was going to be incredibly uh, off-putting to me, which it isn't, which is, I'm so happy that it isn't. To me, it's just, it's even more enjoyable now to build because I'm like, uh, not just building to have fun myself, but I know that it has like a second purpose of someone else can see it. Um, you know, I mean, before I would like spe scre ugh, send screenshots to my friends uh, who do not play this game and do not care because they're none of them like games. <laughs> um, so they're all like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> and it's like, okay. Um, but yeah, now I don't have to annoy my friends to uh, get people to see what I built, which is quite cool. Um, but yeah, sometimes when you're playing games like this and you put in hours and hours and hours, like this build uh, took six hours and that is not counting working on the background, which I did in between. So I think with the background, this is probably like eight hours. Oh, no, no, wait, this was seven hours. So with the backgrounds, it's probably like nine hours. And you're spending these nine hours and you're like, well, it is fun, but at some point, you just think to yourself, like, I kind of want someone to, like, actually see this, not just me. Maybe that's, I mean, maybe that's just my thinking, but um, it's really fun to to see people react to it. And I'm so happy for every, every single comment. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Thank you for everyone who's commented so far. It really makes me so happy. Um, like, obviously you think it'll be cool, uh, to get that sort of feedback and to see that people like what you do, but it's actually, like, I get a notification of YouTube and I'm like, yes! <laughs> so it's really fun, uh, and, and 
it's just so cool. Um, I actually really like what I did there, and I think I'll regret it in the end with the piece count, but uh, it almost looks like Pebble went down the water stream, which, I don't know, I really like the aquatic rocks and making them look like Pebble. Uh, there are so many aquatic rocks just on this river floor that nobody ever will pay attention to, but I will. So, um, they are definitely my favorite thing, but with the base game, uh, I have a series, if you don't know, I'll do the YouTube thing and put it up top, but uh, I have a series where I gave myself the challenge to only build with base game pieces, um, and it really made me realize how much I rely on aquatic rocks, and it really made me work on that, uh, to not just, like, completely spam everything with aquatic rocks. Um, so, that is also, that's really exciting. But other than that, I don't think the base game only challenge is that challenging. Uh, I do miss my rocks, though. I do miss them, but uh, that's about all. Um, so, yeah. What you can see in front, uh, in uh, on the pier, uh, the, the kind of education boards and the custom fence. It is only like semi-custom, so that is the path fence, but I did do some you know, changes to it, but uh, that actually I didn't put in either of the videos because it was kind of the conjoining building of the restaurant and this, so it didn't really, you know, both the videos were fairly long, so it was like, okay, it's just a fence. You can actually see me build the fence in the next video, but it didn't feel so important to show you like how exactly it plays it all around. I'm still getting better, or hopefully I'm getting better at uh, figuring out like what to keep in the videos and what to cut out because when I first um, slowed this down, it was, I think, over an hour or around an hour. Uh, not slowed it down, sped it up. Um, <laughs> it was over an hour and so I go over it and cut out parts that uh, that I don't like or stuff like looking at the traversable area or something like I, I just think that these parts often look kind of confusing in speed build so I try to cut them out if I catch them and uh, also that kind of saves, saves some time um, and some repetitive stuff I also cut out but it's kind of hard to say because sometimes the repetitive stuff is also the interesting stuff because like what I'm doing right now with the pebbles it doesn't really come together unless it's cluttered so you don't really get the effect uh while you're still on it you know what i mean um so it's kind of hard to know especially with foliage and rock work when to stop also because foliage and rock work is just my favorite thing in the game so uh, maybe that's also why i kind of went overboard and i think now you can see that i feel like i went overboard because this almost looks like a theme park ride like a haunted cave or something and not like a cute little ibex uh, enclosure, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, now we switch over to working on their indoor section, which, uh, yes, like I said, it's connected via a tunnel. Um, and I cut out quite a bit there because it was just going back and forth and it, the cameras flipped through the mountain and all that stuff. So. It was really hard to film and it looked horrible, especially sped up. So there's a lot of cut out there, but I think you get the idea. You know, I dig a tunnel through it and then I placed uh, plaster all around so that it looked pretty. Um, and then gave them these little steps. This isn't too steep. I think it's realistic that they could walk the, down this, especially Ibexes because, I mean, aren't they like climbing mountains? <laughs> so. Um, but I know that some uh, uh, hoofed animals have trouble walking stairs, but these aren't stairs. Um, and that's also why I put these little like stripe things in there. So I felt like, um, you know, when a horse gets into these uh, horse car transportation things. <laughs> it's not that I'm stupid, it's just that this is not my native language, but I hope you know what I mean. Like, if you want to take your car, your horse via car, then you have to put them in this horse thing. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, uh, the the kind of ramp that they go up, they always have that. So I thought, you know, probably be helpful for the ibexes too. Um, and now we are building the indoor stable. 
Uh, I really, I think before um, going into the, or f rather filming the cinematics, I didn't do it yet. I probably will add a window to that. Uh, I failed to put a window in with the links, and while it doesn't bother me that much with the links, in this uh, part of the house, it really looks just sort of grim and dark, and I feel like uh, they should have a little bit of a window to the side. Maybe not really accessible by the animal, but just some daylight would probably make this a bit nicer, so I, I probably do that um, before doing the cinematics. Uh, and oh my god, talking about cinematics, I really, really love doing the cinematics. Um, they're so much fun to me. <laughs> I really, I thought this would be kind of the necessary evil, but it's actually quite a lot of fun to, uh, you know, um, think of like how can I make this. A cine, a cine, what? A pretty cinematic, what? Where did cine come from? Okay, um, but yeah, the indoor section here is quite uh, basic, I guess. Um, it's, I, I, I think it does its job of looking fairly uh, decent and fairly realistic, but it's not a masterpiece. It's not something that the guests would see, so and also like someone who maybe do a little bit of a tour of this park wouldn't see necessarily maybe if they really wanted to but um so that is why i always think like these indoor sections they should look good but they shouldn't be or to me they aren't the focus uh I th and there is some fun to it um and i like doing interiors where the guests are because they tend to feel different <laughs> i can't really explain it but these indoor sections they would not be um, you know made to look pretty so I think I just talked over my mic the entire time it was under my chin I hope you could hear me <laughs> or I hope I can fix it after so um, in case you didn't hear me the entire time I was just rambling about interiors of stables and this stable has an interior <laughs> so there is that um, but yeah, this it was uh, it was fun to build. I tried to kind of push myself out of the comfort z comfort zone ever since I started this channel because there's certain things that when you build for yourself you just don't build because you're like, I'll get to it because it's a part that you don't necessarily feel too confident about, which in terms makes it feel like you're not having that much fun. But actually, I found that once I started just doing it because I felt like it'd be weird to just leave it out uh when someone's actually watching it um i feel like i got more confident and better at the things that i before always felt like i either skipped or wasn't good at um so that's really good that's really good i'm so happy i think i said it like a million times but you can't say it often again often enough i'm so happy with how this channel is going so far uh it makes me super happy uh every day to look if someone has commented and all that and um also just to see that seemingly you guys like my bills so <laughs> that's the fun the the best part um so that was actually the perfect segue into an outro because i hope you also like this build <laughs> uh Oh my god, I just, I confused myself with how goofy that was. Oh, by the way, this part that we're doing right now, like I said, this was built over a month ago, so obviously no conservation pack here. Um, so yeah, this is still making do with what we had before that. So d don't, just so you're not confused about that, um, but we are making a little bit of a backstage area here. So while we do that, um, I was just about to say goodbye to you and I will continue to say goodbye now. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for everyone who left a comment. Thank you for everyone who thought really hard whether they should leave a comment or not but didn't do it yet. <laughs> um, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come around to watch another time. Bye! Oh, uh, and again, there is cinematics after the music. I keep forgetting to say it so I'll keep having to add a little bit of more voice over here so again thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the cinematics later on bye